Hi y'all, welcome back to the Hot Woods Mama's Fam Talk Show. If y'all are new here, welcome. And if y'all are a new subscriber, welcome. If you have not already done so, and you would like to become a part of the Hot Woods Mama's Fam Talk Show, all you have to do is subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss when I upload new videos. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about cerebral palsy because I myself have cerebral palsy and I want to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have disability doesn't mean you can't live a productive life because you absolutely can. You just have to set your mind to whatever it is you're trying to achieve and you can achieve those goals. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you cannot achieve a goal just because you have a disability. Now, with that being said, let me say this. My channel is for everyone, not just for people that have disabilities. It's for everyone to learn about something, whether you have a disability or not. Um... So, my whole goal is I want to help people who are struggling because they have a disability. Even if you don't have a disability, I want you to stay tuned for this video now today what I'm going to talk about is um, depression and how I deal with it so normally I don't do depression videos but I felt like I needed to do a depression series so what I'm going to talk about is how I deal with depression so just stay tuned for that video to come up and I'll talk to y'all soon welcome back to the Hot Wheels Mama's Fam talk show y'all so the question is how do i deal with depression number one if you have not accepted that you have a mental disability first you have to accept it and that was my major major issue I could never accept that I had a mental disability two I didn't know what it was when I was diagnosed with it I had no idea what it was and how it was going to affect me Number three, I had to be willing to take the medication to balance me out. And for the longest time, I would take the medication when I wanted to take the medication. Because again, I could not accept that I had a mental disability. I didn't think there was anything wrong with me until I had a mental breakdown and I kept on having them. And then I ended up in the hospital because of some things. Um, and then I would take the medication until I got out. 
and then it wasn't just recently that my husband looked at me and said I can't stand you when you're not on your medication and that wasn't to hurt my feelings at all that was to try to get me to understand that I needed this medication. I had to still accept because that part of me was pulling me away from accepting it. Even though I partially accepted it, I do not fully accept it. And it wasn't until recently that I had a conversation with my husband and I saw it through his eyes. And I don't want to be like my father where you have these um outburst of anger sad and all of the above and I don't yell I don't scream when I'm depressed unless my bipolar is acting up and when my bipolar acts up y'all it hits me full force. I feel like I'm a nobody. I feel like I'm trapped in somebody else's body. And again, it wasn't until recently until I fully accepted my mental disability. I say about a year ago, maybe less than a year ago, even though I knew I needed to take this medication to make me somewhat better, I still wasn't accepting it until I had that conversation with my husband and I saw it through his eyes. And the way that I deal with my depression and my bipolar and my PTSD is I take the medication I do things that distract me from that. Like, once in a while, I used to do it all the time, but once in a while, I listen to my music to calm down. Because if not, I have these outbursts and I say things to hurt people. Even though the good side of me doesn't want to hurt people. But the bad side of me hurts people. And me as a person, if the caring, the loving part comes out, I don't like hurting people. And that's what I was doing. I was hurting the people that love me the most. Not physically. But I would say things to hurt those people. Not meaning to, but I did. And I hate that part of me. Like, y'all, I kid you not. 
I hear things inside my head. I don't dare repeat. And I'm not talking about in a harmful way. I'm talking about my mouth. But when that bad side of me comes out, I don't care who I hurt at the moment. It's not until after, until I, not until after I'm coming out of that. Because when I go in it, I'm a, I'm a whole different person. I can't focus. I can't think straight. I can't do anything. And whatever comes out of my mouth, comes out of my mouth. And it's not until after I come out of that state that I'm in and realize that I hurt someone that I care about, then I feel remorse. But before that, I can't control it. I, tr I tried to control it, but I can't control it at that moment. But when I'm on the medication, I can somewhat control it. Not all the time, but I can somewhat control it. And I'm doing this video. Oops. I'm sorry guys, I'm doing this video to let you all know that if you were going through the same thing, all you have to have is someone by your side to talk to you about these things that will help number one. Number two, distract yourself. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Always distract yourself. Because if you distract yourself, then you don't have time to think about hurting someone. Yes, the medication will help you. But you have to also put effort into it as well for it to work. And you have to want it to work. I know some people can't make that happen. But there's our ways that you can distract yourself from doing those type of things. And the whole part of me doing these videos, guys, is to let you know that you are not the only one out there that is struggling with this type of thing. Always know that you have somebody in your corner that you trust. And again, I'm not doing these videos to hurt anyone. I'm doing these videos to inspire you to help you in some way because all I want to do in life 
is to give back. Like people have helped me. I want to pay it forward. So whatever I have to do to make that difference, I will. As I told you guys before, I'm not a quitter. I'm a fighter. Yes, the depression and the bipolar and the PTSD and the anxiety and the severe depression may get me down. Whether I'm taking my medicine or not. I'm still going to get back up. And whoop some. You know what. I don't like fighting with people. And the reason I don't like fighting with people. Is because. Of. My childhood. That's all I grew up around is fighting. So when I fight with somebody, I clam up because I feel like I'm that child again that was never able to express myself as a person. But I know now as an adult, I can do that. I can express myself as a human being. I didn't know that back then. Because I was always told to shut up. My feelings didn't matter. I was always wrong for what I said. I hope this video helps you in some way and keep in mind guys I'm not talking about anybody else's experiences I'm talking about my own experience I will never talk about somebody else's experiences unless I was asked to and I hope that this video and all my other videos have helped y'all in some way. And I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch the Hot Wheels Mama's Fam talk show wherever you are located. And if you are not ready to watch these type of videos, guys, when you're ready, I have it in a playlist for you. And it will always be available to you. And I hope that you share these videos as well as all my other videos to help someone out there know that they're not struggling. And I hope that for those of you that can walk, that you take away something. I don't know what that takeaway is, but I hope that you can take away something from this and share this video with someone else because they may they might need your help and this is a way that they express themselves but they don't know how to tell you and maybe this will be the conversation piece. Maybe this will be the strength that you need to share a conversation with someone that you love or someone that you trust. 
I'm going to end this video here today. But before I do that, I want to say this to you. Never say you can't. Always say you can. And never give up. And from my daughter to you, try your best each and every day. And from the bottom of my heart, guys, I thank you for subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Viewing all of my videos. I can't thank you enough. Keep the subscribers coming. Keep the viewing the views coming. Keep commenting. Keep sharing and keep liking. Because the more you like my videos the more it's going to get around to other people so they can share my videos and subscribe and help other people. Maybe this will inspire someone to start their own YouTube channel because they watched one of my videos because you were willing to take the time out to watch a video and share a video and I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys